well, called by players, of course. Okay, here we can see the Hydralisks have a 1 damage upgrade, so they um, already have 13 damage, but um, their base damage is 12. So, yeah, and the attack speed is 0 0.83. This is a really fast attack speed. Now, uh, note that Stalkers have 1.44. Um, something died here. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a changeling. It sounded like a Terran to me. Good pickup for Dark Force. Uh, for Hazo Ops. Why do I uh, mess both players up? I don't know. So here's the 2 1 upgrade for um, Hazo. No, 2 0. Oh man, you really need more upgrades. And the Ultralisk Cavern is finished. Um, the upgrades are made. Yep. Some ultra discs are on the field already, so everything that Dark Force wants to do is a nice fungal growth, maybe two, kill off the army of Hazoops, and Hazoops will lose the game. So I think, on the paper, Dark Force is in a good position to win this game. Hazoops has only two immortals out, and the High Templar aren't that good in this case. But, as I mentioned before, um, if you can feed back the investors, um, this would be huge. So everything comes down to the fungal growth. Here we see the big engagement. Probably not. Um, I don't know. Dark Force really does not want to do this. He is kind and it's... Look at these beautiful storms by um, Hazo Ops. Oh my god. His army is at 50%. And he did not do anything. So now he's at 150 supply. Hazu is at 150, and he has one fungal growth. But of course, it was the defense fungal growth. Defensive. Hazu is on three base, but his main base is mined out. Dark Force main base as well. He builds a spire. I don't know why. And uh, two more storms. Three more storms. Oh, so much damage! These storms are really raping Dark Force. All roaches are done. The Ultralisks can do some more damage. And here you can see that Ultralisks do much damage. But all these storms are so beautiful. Hazuops really micro that. Awesome. 128 supply. Ah, oh, here's another Ultralisk. He has one more fungal growth. No! Feedback! Another huge mistake or huge disadvantage for Dark Force. You can't say this is a mistake by Dark Force. The Hazelops was just a little bit faster. 122 supply for Dark Force and Hazelops uh, is getting rid of some speedlings there. 118 supply. So both players are even in the supply and this is a bad thing for the... Um, Terran. Ah, from the Zerg. Oh, Greater Spire. Okay, that's the reason why he built a Spire. He wants to have Brute Lords, but Brute Lords do not counter anything, in my opinion, of this army co uh, composition. Mm, yeah. No. <laughs> maybe, maybe the Immortals, but it's not that interesting. He really needs to have um, a good unit composition out of, in my opinion, Roaches, Speedlings, and many many ultralisks doing some good fungal growth and yeah spread your ultralisks engage from different angles and the m the worst thing that um, Dark Force did was pushing all his way through this tube I call this I call this tube because it was narrow and not many units can attack you can be kited very well um, with storms so if he would engage like here having a flanking army and attacking from the back then um, Hazu, Hazu Ops would be out of the game right now. Oh, he's wasting one immortal. Ah, Dark Force uh, takes it with pleasure. So Dark Force really do not want to do this again. Otherwise he's out of the game. Now it, he, he's at 150 supply and Hazu is at 146. So as I mentioned before, that's not a good thing for Dark Force. He wants to be maxed when his opponent is at 150 supply. And... 2-0 and Neo. Two one upgrades for um, Hazu, while Dark Force is at two. I think it's two two. Where's the circling? 
because um, Ultralisks have additional armor. Bop, 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 bop. 2 3. Oh, okay. So Dark Force did a decent job upgrading his units while um, Hanzo is a little bit lacking of chrono boosting his upgrades. I never saw a chrono boost on the Forge, but he's using his chrono boost as you can see. The Nexus um, has not much energy. Um, Dark Force is one of the players who does not build too many gates. As you can see, five or about seven gates on the three bases. That's not that much. So he constantly chrono boosts his gates to be low on gates, but I don't like that. I like to build like 13 gates and use my chrono boost on upgrades. I think that's a better idea. Or using them on, pro on probes. When you go like on 50 probes, after a big RS you can um, use your saved chrono boosts to pump out 20 drones probes yeah. as fast as possible. So whatever is another nice Ultralisk army. And um, Dark Force spreads some more creep. He really wants to because he don't want to be kited again. Here's another flanking army of speedlings. And here's one thing. I think um, Banelings are a little bit underused. Banelings would crack the hell out of um, Hazuop's economy line there. Only like three Banelings. It's not that expensive when you look at the army counts. Here again some storms. No Dark Force. Do not do please the same shit again. Here, he needs a fungal growth. Where are his infestors? But good job with the Brute Lords killing off this expansion. Um, Hazo Ops can't really defend this, and the speedlings on the um, natural expansion of Hazo really kill all the probes. Maybe he pulled some off to the other base here. And wow, you need to spread more creep. Please, here's the Dark Templar, by the way. Oh, and the Dark Templar is killing off the infestor. So, no. Um, fungal growth. Now Hazuops is engaging. Oh, this is so close. Some more storms. Dark Force needs to pull back. Here's another Dark Templar. Maybe the first. Yeah, I think that's the same Dark Templar. Bam! First Dark Templar has gone down. There's another Dark Templar going down. And some more awesome storms. Oh man, this is so much damage. Dark Force, you really can't fight there. Well, he can't pull back anymore. Yeah, there's another blink. <laughs> Late decision. Um, I'm not sure. Do units regenerate more uh, life when they are borrowed? I think they do. Oh, nice feedback. But on the Overseer. Yep, yep, yep. Kill these I Templar. No, no, they are Archons. Oh man, Hazu really micros that awesome. Again, another... Um, here's Fungal Growth. Can you please Fungal Growth them? Yes! I'm really with Dark Force here because I love his style, I love his decision making. <laughs> Although um, Hazu Ops is probably um, one of the best microing players out there. Um, I would... I would say he's as good as Kibikaki. Well, it's hard for me to tell. Um, well, re regarding the micro, of course. But Kibikaki is a little bit more creative. Um, depending on the builds. Yeah, Dark Force managed to get a good position after these fights. Um, but he really needs more fungal growth. Have a look at um, Hazu, he is at 80 supply and Dark Force is now at 167. And he expands another time on this position there. Um, note that this expansion is really exposed. All expansions are exposed. Mm, maybe except these, but there's a high ground on top. So, okay, let's say on Zalnaga Cavern every expansion is very exposed. You have so many ways to um, reach your enemy, like here, there, then we have the left flank and the right flank. This expansion has two um, entrances and so on. Very, very dynamic map. Um, I think, um, well, I loved uh, Metalopolis on the first day I played it. And um, when I saw Zelnaga Kevins, I thought, oh my god, what a freaking bad map for Protoss. But... Mm, after playing like 
50 games on the map only and observing like 150 games. I really love that map. I think it's the best two player map on uh, the map pool right now. Oh, yeah, Void Rays. Nice choice. As I mentioned, uh, I think in the first game, uh, Void Rays are a decent option against Brute Lords. And there's no anti air for um, Dark Force. Dark Force again gets so many storms there. And the Void Rays should be micro and. Wow, you really want to kill the bootlords. Okay, okay, okay. You can manage to kill the bootlords. And here's so many stalkers. But I think there are no storms left. Okay, one storm was left. Fungal growth would be so awesome, man. Too few... Ultralisks. Good job by Hazu having these four or five void rates. With speed, oh, look at this. They have a speed of... 3.38 3.38 This is a very fast unit now He immediately counter attacks and he wants to kill off um, the roach uh, the ultralisk cavern, good choice but here are some hydralisks and um, although Hazu will kill some stuff as you can see the hydralisks do a very nice amount of damage against the void rays Dark Force really needs more fungal growth there. <laughs> I can't point it out enough. Borrow your stuff and fungal growth um, with borrowed uh, units. One hundred twenty-three supply now for Dark Force. Ninety-four has warps. Hazu still pretty good in the game. He has one Templar left. He really needs area of effect damage against Hydralists. And bam! Nice storm! Oh. Bad fight for Dark Force. Very bad fight. He has only one Ultra Lisk. Um, I don't know. I think. Dark Force is losing it right now. And again, Dark um, Hazu Ops does a really nice decision here to pull back, guide your opponent a little bit, wait until the shields are recharged. As you can see on Stalker, how fast shields do recharge in Starcraft 2. Now he attacks the next expansion of Dark Force. Dark Force really needs more stuff. He's still low on minerals, although he um, managed to expand some more times than his uh, opponent. But. Uh, I missed why... I think the Void Rays killed off this expansion. Maybe I mentioned that, but I already forgot it again. Because I'm a little bit ill, as I mentioned before. Whoa! Now the Stalker can... Uh, the Ultralisk can do some damage, but... Again, nice blink. And the Void Rays do so much damage to the units. Wow, this is an epic match. I have to admit... Um, Hazuops um, plays like a little god, like, like a little demi god in this match. Very nice micro, very nice unit composition to every minute in the game, very nice kiting and so on. He really deserves to win this. Yep, there's another Ultralisk, but I don't think that um, Dark Force comes back now. Well, Hazu is down to 6 supply, mentioned that he's only on 1 base, while um, Dark Force is still on 3 bases. Well, let's say 2.5, and, and he will lose this base pretty soon. Zam. Wow, Charge Void Rays do so much damage against buildings. And here's a big mistake by Dark Force, he's suiciding so many stuff against the big army. Wow, and n now that I say it, um, his stuff really killed some stalkers. Hazo up still at 6 supply. Mm, one base. And let's see what Dark Force does. Dark Force is at 1.5. No, he lost this um, hatch there. I missed that. Oh, the sneeze. One moment. <laughs> 